October 19, Saturday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at the moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord the Holy Spirit will teach you. Jesus assures his disciples in mission that they will not be left all alone. They may lack wisdom and skill to refute their argumentative enemies. The Holy Spirit will take care of them. They will not be put to shame or disgrace. The job of the disciples is to acknowledge their faith in Jesus before others. This is witnessing. They have to be proud of their faith. They cannot allow shame to put aside before unbelievers. Alas, many Christians today in the name of ecumenism or indifference to the sensitivities of other religions avoid mentioning the name of Jesus. They do not make the sign of the cross when asked to pray in public, while those of other religions do what they practice in their synagogues, chapels, mosques and other places of worship. Christians' names are disappearing from baptismal records. Parents prefer to name their children with weird combinations. Christians can witness to the faith by giving their children Christian names or names of the saints so that these children may grow into a Christian spirituality. Better off are the many Russians who still bear Christian names like Mikhail or Alexei.